Hello there. Happy Christmas Eve, and I hope you're having a good time with your family, with keeping in mind the COVID virus restrictions of 2020. I'm going to talk about a surprise gift I received today, a South African or African product called Biltong, also made in Zimbabwe. Now, Bill, B-I-L-T-O-N-G, Bill is the buttocks of a cow, T-O-N-G is a strip, so a strip of meat from the cow that is preserved, <coughs> and it's preserved using salt and vinegar and pepper, and the pH is less than about 4.6 preventing the growth of harmful bacteria like Clostridium on the meat. Now, Biltong is dried in a cool, dry environment in a box, usually powered by a light. And Biltong lasts for a long time and was used in travelers in, in Africa, particularly the Dutch. And they lived off the Biltong as a staple diet. <coughs> it is basically originated therefore from Dutch, but is also eaten by Germans and French settlers in Southern Africa in the 17th century. Um, it can be flavored with lots of things like coriander, chutney, sweet, sour, and can be prepared in stews, very much a flavor in, in on crisps and cheese spreads, etc. It can also be boiled as well and included as little bits in bread etc i'll show you some of the gifts i received as a surprise gift in the post today homemade bulletin it's delicious although it can be tough to chew cut a small strip and it's really nice to chew the little bits now <clears throat> it's traditionally made in a cold dry air typically dried effectively and this is the best or safest food environment. There's no uh, mold, there's no heating, or etc. And there's little risk of bacterial or fungal growth. The wooden boxes are the most important. Um, the the salt contains nitrites, which is which is adversely adversely affects the growth of bacteria as well. Um, but it has to be ventilated when, when being dried, and you have to be careful not to burn the meat with the lamp. An electric fan can be sometimes used to blow that warm air over the, the meat that's suspended from sort of rafters, metal rafters. Okay, so let's show you some of this. Um, so here are some of the bulton wrapped there, and I'm going to undo the foil, take out a piece, <clears throat> and there's a piece of built on. There's the cut end. There's dried meat, and this has been pepperized. And the smell is absolutely delicious. Very, very nice smell indeed. And that's preserved, and it doesn't contain any harmful bacteria. So the strip would be hung like this to dry. Okay. And <clears throat> There are various forms of built on. Yes. Some are longer and strip. And these particular ones are sweet, sweetish, chut chutney type flavored strips. And they, these are longer. And there you can see, there you can see the hole in which the built on was suspended on the hook. And there's a long, nice strip there. A nice African. South African, Zimbabwean examples of food. The Americans call it jerky, but I don't like jerky. Built on is much more classic, much, much more rich in taste. Okay. And there you go. That's a lesson on built on. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas, um, a safe Christmas, and a very fulfilling time, even if you're alone. And also a lovely Boxing Day. 2020. All the best. Bye. Cheers.